Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom comic books edition for the week of June 4th, 2018. This week in comic books is actually kind of a short one, so we're not going to do teasers. Let's just hit an intro so we can get through it. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we can get into the news, guys, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's sponsor is the Your Mom Thinks I'm Advertiser Friendly shirt. Looks a little something like this. And it's the shirt that says, I don't do this for the ads. I do this for your mom. You can get this shirt over on the Teespring store, teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the only place to get the your... <clears throat> That is the only place to get the Your Mom Thinks I'm Advertiser Friendly shirt. It's sponsored this entire week. Uh, I had to do shirt laundry, so I don't have my regular shirt on. I wish I had a Your Mom shirt, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too poor to buy my own merch. <laughs> Again, you can get this shirt over on teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. Now, let's get into the news. First on the list is something we talked about last week. This is just an update for it. Uh, Weapon X Force. Uh, they have revealed one of the silhouettes. Uh, the one, the silhouette that they have revealed, people were speculating could have been uh, Deathstroke or Deathstrike, rather. Um, it is actually Sabretooth. It seems that Sabretooth is going evil. Uh, as of 2012 or so Sabretooth uh, is has been kind of a good guy kind of in modern continuity like he still has issues but by and large he's a good guy it looks like he's turning feral and going bad again how that's going to change the dynamic of this book will be very interesting to see so th that's all we got as they reveal more of the silhouettes we will talk about it but right now all we got is Sabretooth so we're Kicking over to a Comixology update. Uh, Amazon, for those of you that don't know, bought Comixology a while back. I don't even remember exactly when. And they, basically, they've just ba been backing them. But now they're expanding Comixology. Comixology has announced that they're going to start doing original comic books and novels as part of its originals program. Um, all of these books are going to be creator owned, which is a huge deal in comic books because DC owns Batman. Bob Kane and Bill Finger don't own Batman. They created Batman. They get the credit for having done that, but they don't own him. And so like that creates a lot of issues. Stan Lee doesn't technically own his creations, though he is on the board for Marvel. So he's part of the company that does. But Marvel owns the X-Men and DC owns all of the Justice League and so on and so forth. So if Stan Lee wanted to go solo, he wouldn't be able to take Spider-Man with him. He would have to create a new uh, superhero. Not that that's going to happen, but that's kind of how that works, right? So Comixology is giving writers the opportunity to create their own superhero and keep that uh, intellectual property for themselves. Again, which is really huge. Another really big part of this is some of these books, not all, but some of these books are going to be print on demand. So it's kind of like my t-shirt stores, uh, Teespring and Redbubble. They don't make a million of my shirt designs and then they just sit somewhere. When you order one, it gets printed specifically for you and they mail it off to you. That's what Comixology is going to be doing with some of these new comic books. And also the novels is once you order it, then it gets shipped directly to you. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't sit in a warehouse and start smelling funny, although the shirt itself does, just not the printed design. Uh, or, uh, and the materials for the comic book sit somewhere, just not 
bit readily made. I would imagine the turnaround time is a little bit longer. I, there was no announcement as to you order on Monday and then you get it by Friday. That 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 was that's not a thing. It's probably you order it on Monday and then you get it three Mondays from then. Um, but it's it's still in its infancy. They literally just announced it. And then the third part of this is a couple of these books are their entire release. So all of the issues came out all at once. So you can effectively binge read these comic books, uh, much like you do on Hulu and on Amazon Prime and Netflix. When you watch a whole series, you can read the whole series for these comic books, which is really an interesting way to do it. I, I we'll see how that pans out. We'll we'll talk about uh, the diamond numbers and such probably in about six months or maybe at the end of the year. We'll see what happens there. But that's that's pretty significant. They have the backing of one of the largest companies in the world, so they have the money to pay these artists and writers. Uh, this could potentially be a giant industry shakeup. I'm not holding my breath though. I, I'm not so delusional as to think that people are going to stop reading Batman. But it's going to be harder for DC and Marvel to keep writers if this comicsology venture is successful. So maybe this could be, be the beginning of a shift. We don't know. Let's keep an eye on it and talk about it whenever we can. Next on our list is actually our last bit of news. I was going to do uh, Doomsday Clock number five and Spider-Man number 800, both of which are on the shelves. I just haven't read them yet. So we'll talk about those next week. But we are going to talk about Hellblazer. Uh, for anyone who does not know, Hellblazer is the name of the comic book for Constantine, John Constantine to be precise. Uh, Tim Seeley has been writing him for a few issues now, for a little while, and on Twitter he responded to a reader saying that yes, he was brought on to the writing staff in order to close the book. So they are going to be canceling Hellblazer after issue number 24, which comes out this month. So no more Constantine, at least for a short while. Uh, we already know he's going to be in the one of the Justice League series so he's just not going to have a solo book for a while um but again that's it guys your homework should you choose to accept it is to find a copy of doomsday clock number five and also a copy of spider-man number 800 and go read them so that we can talk about them next week but thank you guys for watching all the way to the end what did i miss i know there's probably quite a bit what should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That's .net, not .com. .net. That is the place that you can get all of the freebies. You can get the social media links. You can get the store links to get your nerdy swag. You can get all kinds of stuff up on generallynerdy.net or you can support the channel more directly over on patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place that you can jump on for just a dollar a month and you get so much extra value. Uh, again, just one dollar gets you a lot. Check out patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button if you like this episode click the like button if you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that but before we go before we click boxes and buttons and things guys always always remember if it's generally nerdy it's probably here